Hello, what's up everybody? <laughs> Back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about conjure. In Creole, it's conjurer, or we can look at conjuration, which is conjuration. Now, most people start about conjure when uh, we come to this word, we think of a person making apparitions appear, or ghosts appear, and stuff like that, or making spirits appear. Those of us who are in the Goetia, we hear about conjuration and stuff like that, you know? Now, let me explain this. Let me, let, let, let's move away from all the fantasy. Conjuration or conjuration is not about making things like ghosts appear. It's about causing events to happen, which you can say is, uh, you can say, which is very trippy and mind bending because it's like, let's just say this everything in this universe is visual, you know? I mean, those of us who are who have under who read about quantum physics and stuff like that, we hear about collapsing wave functions. Things like that depend on the human mind in order to bring things into existence. So therefore, if I'm not looking at something, basically the potential everything collapses back into non-existence, into potential whatsoever. Heinberg's theories, etc. You know, or Schrodinger's cat theory, whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Basically, when you're not looking at things. Basically, you can say that they don't have a reality. It's human beings that enter enter into uh, things and then bring them into existence itself. So when you talk about magical workings itself of conjure, it is as though you're creating events. So therefore, when you step out, like a prime example, you got a Bramlin talisman, you know, you have a Bramlin talisman. I think I made a video about that way back whatsoever. Basically, I remember I was working with it. They said one talisman causes fights and wars. I went to the corner store. Basically, I had the talisman in my pocket. I powered it up before I left my house. I went to the corner store, and I basically saw, like, a, you know, basically a big-ass argument about to go down, which was, you know, sound like it was about to lead into a fight whatsoever. So, basically, on a visual note, I walk outside my house. Holy shit. Basically... I go to the corner store, this is what I see with my two eyes. See, people, they focus on the physical things, things that they can touch in reality. So when you start getting into conjure, it's not about, yes, it is encompassing things that you can touch, but we can look at the root word of meaning something that appears, making reflection back to the universe as being visual. So even people who understand who are into Buddhist philosophy, understand that everything is visual perception this universe is like built on perception you know how you perceive things itself you know basically you can look at an event and it's good in a good way you can also look at it in this bad way you know what i'm saying so we can talk about things in ethics with visual you know on a visual note you know but it can go deep into metaphysical and that's why i say before i said recently on a post do not trust your eyes because prime example let me talk about a conjuration thing on a conjuration note is that you can do a ritual to basically let's just say to do something let's just say the work backfires on you you know what let me just play this you can do a ritual and when you do this ritual things come into existence but the prior circum the prior like condition that you are in that's what it always is but now when you do your ritual what happens is that circumstances change and boom all of a sudden now you're at this job you know now you're doing work for magic for money and stuff like that you did this and that's where it led to you basically having the money so therefore another thing would be on a darker note let's just say you got work that backfires on you and all of a sudden you get a notice for like you say like you're doing work to basically get a home whatsoever now you get a notice where you're staying at it, because the work backfired you get a notice that you're evicted whatsoever 
Now, they come up with all types of random reasons why you're evicted whatsoever. Now, prior to that eviction notice, you didn't know anything was, you didn't know nothing about it. Everything was all good. Now your work backfired on you. So the rationale on the physical plane is that, oh, you were a uh, rowdy tenant whatsoever and all this other type of shit. Now, you didn't know anything about this. This is just something that just came up. So in manifestation, the visual of it is that, boom, you get a notice that you're going to be evicted whatsoever, you know? And the reason is, but that's the that's the mind-bending thing about it, is that these scenarios get created, you know? And they are reality. A good movie I would tell people to watch is The Butterfly Effect. You know, basically The Butterfly Effect Part 1 whatsoever. Watch that movie because it is a definitely a good movie that explains what I'm talking about because everything is visual. You know, everything is visual. So the rationale, you know, in, in, this, in this example was that everything got created in the universe to make it appear as though this is what happened. But in reality, it is what happened. But in your mind, you know that none of this existed before you did your work. And this is a trippy thing about conjure work, you know, basically magic in general. Conjure, now when we talk about magic, that is just a term what some, this is a term to explain things from a visual perspective on magic itself. Some people came up with the word con conjugation, conjure, whatsoever, because they understood that things manifest, you know, and they looked at the world as being visual, from a visual perspective, you know, so that was a perspective which these people, whoever came up with the word conjure, came about whatsoever, you know. I mean, it's like common sense would tell you when you have deep spiritual knowledge and you begin to understand how conjure happens, you can come any, and most of me, everyone's going to come to that conclusion whatsoever, you know, but w this is just one perspective of looking at magic itself, you know, um, there's looking ways of looking at magic as being, you know, you can look at it from a term of being magical, you know, where you just talk about the herbs and stuff like you can look at it as, you know, a form of hoodoo itself, you know, I mean, but then people will say that this hoodoo is basically a lineage thing whatsoever, but again, when we're talking about magical workers, it's different terms to, to basically describe magical workings itself, you know, and, you know, it, and that's pretty much different perspective about, uh, one, uh, Thing that's occurring or happening or magical working whatsoever you know so I definitely hope this video is informative um, don't want to ramble on anymore I think I said everything I need to whatsoever you know um, like and subscribe everyone thank you for watching